guys, have you ever been one of the people that didn't get picked, that didn't get chosen, that didn't get invited to something? Well, today's story is about some people that they didn't get invited to things. That wasn't for them. In fact, when people saw them coming down the street, they probably passed over to the other side because these guys, they maybe didn't smell the greatest. They lived out in the fields. They didn't do the things that all the good people did. So they tend to get left out of stuff. They wouldn't ever get invited to anything special, especially not something really special. They would have spent their nights sitting around campfires, taking their time, keeping warm. They didn't get invited to the parties. They didn't get invited to the celebrations until, well, until our story today, until God invited them to something. In that region, there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flocks by night. Here's one sheep here. And uh, keeping watch over their flocks by night. Then an angel of the Lord appeared to them. The angel stood before them and the glory of the Lord shone around them and they were terrified. They were terrified. But the angel said to them, do not be afraid. For, see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a rescuer, a saviour, who is the Messiah, the promised one, the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find him wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was a great host of heavenly beings, of angels all around. And they were praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven and on earth peace among those whom he favours. When the angels had left them and gone back into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let's go now to Bethlehem and see this thing that's taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went quickly and found Mary and Joseph and the baby lying in the manger just as they'd been told it would be. When they saw this, they made known to everything one what had been told to them about this child. But Mary treasured all these words and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and all they had seen as it had been told to them. You know, guys, I love this story because it reminds me how God sees us. You might think, you might feel I am nobody special but just like with those shepherds everyone else thought they were nobody special but God saw them God knew them as special to him God loved them more than anything God knew that well just like you and I they were broken they did things they shouldn't do and they didn't do things they should but that's why God sent the angels to them, to let them know they were loved by him. And in the same way, God sent his son Jesus to let us know we are loved by God more than anything. That is why Jesus came. That is why he lived. And that is why we die. he died. Because just like the shepherds, 
We're invited to join in God's joy. We are invited in to God's joy too. And all we have to do is like the shepherds, listen to God, come to his son, put our faith, our hope, our trust in him and he will hear us. He will never let us down. Guys, I am always encouraged by the story of these shepherds and how God saw them. People that others at that time didn't see. God loved them so very much. He wanted them to know his joy and his love and his peace. Just like he wants you and me to know that same joy in our lives. You can find today's story in St. Luke chapter 2 and from verse 8 to 20. Go and read it for yourself. Be like the shepherds. Hear from God and come to Jesus and know his love and peace and hope. Thank you guys for listening.